Hi, good morning. This is our last morning to have Bible study with you. I and some other teachers of, um, that um, do our videos, we are going to take a break in the month of August. Hopefully we can be back in September, but we are not quite sure yet what we're going to do. So this will be our last video for our Bible classes, and hopefully we can make more, but we will see what we're going to do, okay? Uh, just So just stay tuned and we'll see. Um, I hope you guys are ready for our Bible study, and I hope you have your Bibles. I got mine right here, but we will get to that in just a minute. First, I want to play a little game with you, see what you can see if you can figure out what I have hidden under this cloth right here. What do you think? It looks kind of big, right? Hey, okay. and do you hear this? Do you think you can figure out what that is, even though you're from your house? What? Any guesses as to what this might be? I'll give it to you one more time, shake it. Oh, you might have seen that side. Okay, listen again. All right, any guesses? What is your guess? Okay, let's see if you guessed right. It's a bowl full of colored pencils. I was hoping I can trick you. Did any of you get it right? If you got it right, message me. Tell your mom and dad to message me so we can, I can give you a round of applause or send you a card or something if you got it right. Bowl full of pencils. That's gonna be part of our story today is about um, uh, David who tried to hide his sin. Okay, so we're gonna be learning about David and how he sinned and how he was restored. So I hope you have your Bibles. Remember, uh, the Bible is God's special book. His words are written there and every time I turn the page, I handle it with care. So let's open our Bibles to 2 Samuel 11. We're gonna be in chapters 11 and 12. And I'm going to read the story to you. All right, so let's get going. We can do our Bible study now, and I'm going to read it. David was the king of Israel. And one spring, David sent out, sent out the army, but he put another man in charge of them. David stayed in Jerusalem. One evening, David looked out from his palace, and he saw a beautiful woman named Bathsheba. Bathsheba was the wife of Urah one of the best warriors in David's army. David sent his messengers to get Bathsheba and she came to David's house. Later, Bathsheba told David that she was going to have a baby and that baby would be David's. David knew that he had done something wrong. David should not have a baby with someone who was not his wife. So David made a plan to make sure no one found out about what about what he had done and Bathsheba's baby. David called Uriah home from the battle and told him to go spend the night with his wife. But Uriah didn't think it was fair for him to relax at home while the other men were fighting. He slept on David's doorstep and refused to visit his wife. So David made up another plan. He instructed Joab, the leader of the army, to send Uriah into the head hardest parts of the battle so he would be killed. This time, David's plan worked. Uriah was killed in battle. David took Bathsheba into his house to be his wife and she had a baby boy. God knew that David, God knew what David had done and he was not happy with David. God sent Nathan the prophet to talk to David. Nathan told David a story. A traveler came to a rich man who had many animals. The rich man did not offer his own animal. Instead, he took the poor man's lamb, the only lamb he had, and he gave it to a traveler to eat. This story made David feel angry. The rich man should die, David said. You are the man, Nathan said. God had given David a, pr a position of great power, and David took what wasn't his. David realized he had sinned against God. David deserved to die, but God will punish you. Your son will die instead. David confessed his sin and prayed, God, create a clean heart for me. David realized he could try to please God with sacrifices, but that wasn't enough to pay for his sins. God wanted David's heart to change so that he would not want to sin again. 
And that's the end of our story. And David, he had tried to hide his sin, right? He tried, like, I had this hidden for you and I covered it so you couldn't see it. Well, David tried to do that. And he had Bathsheba's husband, Uriah, he had him killed because David was hoping no one would find out about him, his sin. But someone did know all the time. Who knew? God. God knew about David's sin. And anytime we sin, because we all sin and we are all we are all unworthy and we all sin, but with sin, there are consequences. With sin, there is a price. And in this story, the price was that David's son died. And sometimes it's not death. Sometimes your sin might be hurting someone now. Sometimes when I'm angry and I yell, my sin, the price that's paid are sometimes my children who get scared and, and scared when I yell at them. So when we sin, there's a price to be paid. But did you know what? You know, Jesus, he died on the cross for our sin to pay that price for our big, ugly sin that we have. So when we repent to God and we tell him that we're sorry, remember repentance means turning from our sin to doing what God wants us to do. God is happy with us when we do that, but there's a price to be paid, right? And Jesus is the one who paid our price on the sin. God had that plan for us. God has a plan to take that price away, which is death, because we deserve to die. We are nasty when we sin and we don't do what God wants us to do. So thankfully, let's praise God. We say thank you, God, for that plan of salvation that you have to save us and to restore us and make us clean. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this study, and I hope you guys can continue in your leader guides. Maybe you can talk a, couple, a few more questions or ask a few more questions and talk with your parents about this study and how um, when we do bad things, there are consequences. There's a price to be paid, and Jesus paid that. Let's go ahead and say our prayer before we close. Our hands we fold, our heads we bow so we can talk to God just now. Thank you, God, for your sovereignty. Thank you, God, that you are holy. Thank you, God, for your perfect plan of salvation. Dear Lord, we uh, confess that we are not perfect and we sin all the time. And we, uh, we want to have a clean heart just like David asked. A clean heart to be more like you. Help us to be more like you through the Holy Spirit. And thank you, God, for uh, sending Jesus to die on the cross for our sins to pay that punishment. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Okay, you guys, this is the last video. I'm so sad I'm going to miss all of you. Uh, I already miss all of you. And so um, hopefully I'll see you soon. You guys have a great Sunday and bye.